Alright, so my party has been healed, Skarmory has been added to my party, so just in case I need death powder or something like that, and it is time to move on with the story. You there, I talked to you already, didn't I? No, I don't. Alright, so... Is there anything- wait a minute, this looks like a crack in the fence, come on, why can't I go through there? Thanks for being no fun game. Anyway, let's talk to the guy at the door, Kukui! Hey there! Royal. Who is this? Okay, so this is the guy that made the PCs, huh? He's the, uh, wait a minute, did you say you're the captain? My masked friend. Are you related to the masked royal guy? Sophocles. Alright, are we gonna battle? Alright, let's battle. And, um, yeah, it sounds like this is gonna be a, a semi-important battle, so I guess I'll narrate this one. Uh, challenged by Melane. I'm gonna have to get used to that name. It's not... Ooh, Skarmory. It's not like a difficult name or anything like that, but, um... I don't know. I have a feeling I'm gonna have a... I'm gonna be mispronouncing it quite a bit anyway. So, let's see. I am level 29, you're level 29. I am going to go and use a super effective flame charge, which is gonna hopefully do a little bit through your, like, monstrously high defense. Never mind. Alright, Dragon Rage it is. Air Cutter. Yeah, this is why I keep Dragon Rage around, really. So, you're gonna use Air Cutter. And I'm going to use Dragon Rage, which does a fixed 40 damage, regardless of what your defenses look like. And that is going to be a 2 KO on you, which is nice. Air Cutter, see what I care. I actually do, because you brought me down below half on that one. But in any event, another Dragon Rage should go and take you down. By the way, if I were to use Toxic on you, would I be able to poison you? Because I have that ability. And that's what it sounds like. Anyway, Skarmory went down. Sorry, Ian. Um, I did not even get 1,000 HP from that. Experience, not HP. Doug Trio. Coming in next, uh, what is your type? I have a feeling you're gonna be one of those weird Alolan dog trio things. Uh, Hagrid, you're the lowest level member of my party. My actual party. Skarmory doesn't count. Again, sorry, Ian. Um, Hagrid! Let's do this. You're gonna send in dog trio. Oh my god, that hair. Like, I remember seeing, like, pre-release art of this thing's hair, but... This is something else. Like, seeing it in the game animated, that is like, wow. Impressive. Anyway, so my attack is going up. And my speed is falling because of Tangle. Wow. Who decided to put hair on a Doug Trio? Why are you. You're faster than me, my speed has been lowered, and you use Sucker Punch on a fighting type. What kind of sense does that make? Come on, game. Anyway, it's super effective. And Hagrid's attack is going up. Tangling hair is going to lower my speed. Um, there's another ability that does that, isn't there? It's like... Gudra has it. I can't remember what the ability is called. Anyway, Matang is coming in. Um, I think... I'm probably not going to outspeed you. Please tell me you don't have Zen Head, but please tell me you just have, like, Takedown or something. You're going to use Bullet Punch. I don't think that's going to take me down. Maybe? Good, I survived. Anyway, Brutal Swing, plus one, super effective. Is not even gonna do half. All right, I can take that. Um, then what do I? Who do I want to bring in? What does Noches have? I have Astonish. That's gonna do beans. Great lady, you have Hex. Use Hex. You are using Pursuit. All right, so I guess Hagrid's not getting any experience out of that. Um, in that case, I might be able to just bring Amazonian in. Can you do anything to Amazonian? I don't imagine you have Zen Headbutt or anything, because if you did, you would have used it earlier and taken down What's-His-Face, uh, Hagrid. And I'm guessing the Dragon Rage is a 2 KO on you. Yeah, you're gonna use Bullet Punch instead, which is a, resi which is a resisted move, because I am a Fire-type that actually would take me down if you decided to use it again. Kill? No? Dang. You're gonna use a Super Potion. Alright, so that's going to restore a little bit of HP, net, because... That's going to restore 60, and Dragon Rage is going to do 40. Actually, that was more than I expected, percentage-wise. So, um, you're going to use Bullet Punch again. Please survive. I may survive. I don't think I'll survive. Ooh, 1 HP. Way to go. And Matang is going down. Thank you, and good night. Good game, Elaine. Did not get a whole lot of experience from that, either. Yes, Kikui has brought along a good trainer. I think that's what he said. Anyway, got money. And hopefully we can move on with the plot now, right? Yes, I'm qualified to take on the trial. 
Am I now? One more thing, cousin. Oh, so he's your cousin. Wait a minute, what? So you're going back to the garden, and how is he going to still be eating food? He's been eating food for like four hours of real time now. Come on. My old buddy. Alright, so welcome to the observatory. I'm glad you think so. But I really need to go heal. That's not where the Pokemon Center is. Alright, let's do this. What is in here? Hmm, music isn't here. Anyway, uh, commemorative to commer to English. I'm speaking English, I swear. To commemorate your visit to the observatory and keep a bit of space with you. You're gonna give me a comma shard, which you can sell for an insane amount of money, if I recall. Um, yeah, a fragment of comet. The vastness of space. Yeah. All right. So uh, you use infrared and radio to detect celestial bodies. And in orbit, you probably have, like, gamma observatories, don't you? Or gamma satellites, rather, don't you? Astronomical telescopes are basically, like, amazingly good digital cameras. Yeah! Have you ever seen the resolution on, like, Google Earth? Alright, so it sounds like they're going to be talking a favorite of real science in here, which is, which is, uh, fantastic. In case anybody was wondering, I tried to say fantastic and cool at the same time, and it came out as fool, which is a very different adjective. Um... <clears throat> Let's see, where do I have to go? Cardboard boxes. I was imagining an observatory to be a little bit neater than this. Alright, whatever. That is not a door. This. Is this a door? That's a door. You there. Malayan and Sophocles. I feel like there's a name put in there, but I'm not getting it. I know Sophocles is like a Greek person thing, but... Nice. I'd be lying if I if I said that's what I that's if, I'd be lying if I said that's not what I spent all last night doing too, except um, I actually spent a lot of last night trying to like get recording stuff to work, which obviously didn't happen considering how many recording issues I've had today. Who in God's name are you, and why do you look like a ten year old? Yeah, I did. Sure, I used it exactly once. What? Is this the trial? Are you- yeah, you're wearing like a Pikachu tail around your neck. Pretty much. Alright. Like dog whistles and stuff. I'm your test subject. Alright, ping totem Pokemon 2.0 engage. Fascinating. Let's see, can we just uh, get on with this? Well, was that supposed to happen? Ow. An audio quiz. Sure. Alright, oh, so we are gonna battle. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute, that was the trial gate. Uh, please respond to the following audio quiz. That's the healing- what happens if you're deaf? Pokemon Center. Like, normally, that's not a concern, but... I know that probably wouldn't affect too many people, but what happens if you're trying to play this game and you're deaf? Do you just have to guess until you get it right? That's a grubbin. What happens if you're deaf? I like how that's the first thing that I think of. Anyway. Yeah, it's on its way. Good to know. What's the next audio? <coughs> I'm okay. Wait, what? We're outside. Cinematics? Alright. Wanna get what? That's the Rotom Dex. A Pokemon came through. Alright, fascinating. What just happened to my 3DS capture wire? Um... Can I just point out the irony in the fact that my 3DS capture just stopped working during a supposedly like a power outage? 
Um, I don't know if this is a problem with my wire or with one of my USB ports or... Give me a moment. This is hilarious. Alright, thank you. Thank God it's not a problem with the capture device itself, because that would be very upsetting. Anyway, let's see, the totem Pokemon is on its way. And I really, really hope that my capture wire doesn't just stop working again. Oh my god. Anyway, we are, like, flying... I hear, like, a buzzing noise. Is that, um... Is Vikivolt the totem Pokemon? Anyway, 50%. Following audio quiz. Which Pokemon's cry? Alright, so we're getting a little bit more difficult. Um... I haven't seen this thing yet. I'm gonna go with Chargebug. Cool. Alright, so, um, if I had been paying attention during that last battle, I probably would have noticed, because that was the last thing that I fought. Alright, so, uh, what? Alright, so are we there yet? Oh, way to go. Fool me once, shame on the door. Fool me twice, shame on the security system. Fool me three times, shame on me, I guess. That is an excellent- that would be a video title if it wasn't, like, an entire paragraph. Anyway. Totem Pokemon, where are you? Incoming! It's knocking on the door. By the way, I do need to heal my, uh, my Salazzle thing. Because, uh, Mudsl under no other circumstances would Mudslop do a lot of damage, except I'm four times a week to it with Salazzle. Anyway, what appears when you hear the following music? I want to say that's the Totem Pokemon music. Yay, I got it right. And I guess I'll be hearing it soon enough anyway, because, uh, I mean, the totem Pokemon is coming up. There it is! Alright, Vikavolt. It's appeared, so that's nice. Um, let's see, I do need, again, I do need to heal Salazzle. And I would like to poison this thing, Vikavolt. Yeah, this is what my, uh, this is what that one Pokemon of mine is going to evolve into eventually, although I don't know exactly how to make it do that. Uh, Charger Bug? Let's see, Amazonian! I need to get out of here. Um, yeah, that annoying beeping noise. Let's go and switch out to, how about Skarmory? Meat Shield. I don't know what it's going to use. If um, I know I've got at least one turn to heal, and that's all I need because my only healing potions are like hyper potions and stuff. Yeah, you're going to use Spark. That shouldn't do a whole lot of damage. It actually did a whole lot of damage. It also paralyzed. Um, you're going to call on your ally Pokemon. And, um... Let's see, what's, uh, what's gonna drop in? That is a charge of bug, perfect. Actually, not perfect, but whatever. So, let's see, uh, I need to heal by way of using a Hyper Potion, which is way overkill, but Amazonian, yeah, like a Super Potion would be overkill at that point, but that's all I have because I apparently didn't think ahead to stock up earlier. Anyway, you are going to use a move, it's gonna be super effective, Skarmory's gonna go down, and, um, <clears throat> Let's see, Charger Bug is going to use Vice Grip, and it's going to fail, for obvious reasons of there being no Pokemon to actually use Vice Grip on. Um, let's see, Amazonian. I just need to survive one turn, which I think I should, because even Skarmory survived the, uh, the spark. Uh, Vikavolt, Toxic, please hit. Uh, I don't know why I'm worrying, because Toxic should be 100% accuracy with, uh, poison types. There we go, so your days are numbered, so all I have to do is stall. I don't have that many revives, but I don't think I'll need them. Uh, let's see, Vikavolt's gonna use Spark. Ow. Oh my god, that actually did a lot. I'm already paralyzed, perfect. Um, yeah, about that. I want to get the experience in Salazzle, although it's not the end of the world if I don't. I'm huge first, what's my base speed? Or what's my, uh, uh, calculated speed, rather? Not counting the, uh, paralysis, which quarters it. Uh, your speed is 60. Hmm, hang on, I can scroll through with L and R, or rather, uh, R, because L is broken. Uh, your speed is 33, which is very slow, your speed is 41, 43, and 54. So, I might actually, if I get rid of the paralysis on Grey Lady, I might actually be able to go first and do quite a bit of damage. Um, and Hex will do extra damage as well. Yeah, alright, so we're going to be restoring Grey Lady. Alright, so restore, this button is down here. Yeah, Hex will be doing extra damage, because... Um, my target is poisoned, and Hex does extra damage if your target is, is uh, got, like, a major status. Anyway, sorry, Amazonian, a critical hit. You have gone down. <clears throat> I'm sure you'll get more chances to fight in the future. Mudslapped, I don't care, because, well, 
Grey Lady is a flying type. Um, let's see, I don't think this will take it down entirely, but a Hex should do a lot of damage. Right? Let's see, Hex! Let's do this! No! Wrong! Pokemon! It should still do a lot of damage, because Charger Bug isn't all that good. But, oh my god, I hit the wrong Pokemon. Didn't I do that in one of the other totems also? Yeah, you're gonna use Spark. You are, unfortunately, not standing a chance. Aftermath is gonna... Ooh, well, the residual damage is starting to stack up here. Let's see if I can get through this without having to revive. If I can just, like, wait out the poison. Um... Because <clears throat> Charger Bug, I'm not scared of at all. Uh, what happens... Can I fight fire with fire? What can you actually do to me? Because Mudslap is neutral damage, Spark is not very effective, I don't know what else you have. Uh, you haven't demonstrated anything. Um, Acrobatics is a neutral hit, Bug Bite is not very effective, Spark is not very effective, Crunch is a neutral hit. Acrobatics is going to be doing the most damage. Um, Vic of all. Let's see, so you're going to be using Bug Bite, which is also a, a, a neutral hit, because bugs aren't resistant to bugs somehow or another. Um, that didn't take you down, but that doesn't matter because the poison will, and I got through this battle with minimal item spam. Not bad at all. Alright, that was way easier than, like, the fire totem or the, uh, a couple of the other totems. I approve. Um, Aragog almost got a lot of experience there. Um, I should get a level once I take down Charger Bug by Scrip, indeed. Yeah, see what I care? Use acrobatics. I feel like I should have gotten more experience from taking... Wow. Anyway, I feel like I should have gotten more experience from taking down the, um, the, uh, Vicka Vault. Just because I think this is a third stage evolution. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Charge a bug went down. Gained 600 experience, got a level, grew to level 31. You're now the strongest member of my party, which is nice. 62 attack, 65 defense, decent special defense. Awesome. Uh, X scissor, cross scissor, whatever. Yes, let's get rid of Bug Bite. Um, this is 33% stronger than Bug Bite. And it's also now going to be out damaging acrobatics on neutral targets. Thanks to a uh, same temp attack bonus. Alrighty then. Yeah, appropriate, right? Defeated Totem Vicavolt.